to explore Vancouver's Chinatown. This is the Chinese red date. The Chinese date, also called a juju, said to contain more vitamin C than an orange and more vitamin A than a carrot. The Chinese date helps to enrich and replenish blood, aids in youthful looking skin, and helps with digestion. In the traditional Chinese wedding ceremony, the jujube is often placed in the newlywed's bedroom as a good luck charm for fertility. Lotus seeds are also found in this bowl. One of the ways to enjoy lotus seeds are in the traditional Chinese celebration, the Mid-Autumn Festival or Moon Festival. Sharing a wedge of lotus seed mooncake with family and friends commemorates this traditional Chinese celebration. Honeysuckle is taken to help with colds, respiratory issues, and inflammation. It is considered one of the 50 fundamental herbs in Chinese herbology. Wood ear mushrooms are high in protein, iron, and fiber, and low in calories. This one is a forest mushroom. It can be used in hot pots, which are similar to like a French fondue. Sea sponge, perhaps? Um, this is a type of a fungus, dried. Um, they live off tree trunks. So it's just one of the variety of fungus. Um, yeah, so okay. this is really pretty. And what you do with it is, this is already dry, so you put it in the water to, to fluff it up, and then you can uh, use it in soup and that kind of thing. Okay. It's got a crunchy texture. It's, it's really healthy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh. You may be familiar with the superfood, the goji berry, and they sell them here. This is also called the Chinese wolf berry. Chinese, they want the healthy, yeah. and um, they're hoping <coughs> uh, they're not sick. Mm -hmm. They want them. Um, lots of. We, we also make a congee, congee, and yeah. the the tea, Chinese tea. Mm -hmm. yeah, we like it. So you make the tea out of this too? No, and uh, not not the tea. We just put a little bit of water. Drink in the morning time or evening time. Do you know if this is called turmeric? It's a some sort of root. The English, I forget. The ginseng? Mm -hmm. It's not ginseng. Ginseng is a... Ginseng, I think it's ginseng. Okay. Yeah, this so one also. This is a healthy also. Mm -hmm. And uh, we bought this one. So this one, now it's very popular. I think there are lots of people mm -hmm. drink this one for many, many years. They're never sick at all. Okay. I just it's elbow. Good for yeah, we want to we wanna try maybe. Yeah. Yeah. American ginseng can be taken for stress to boost the immune system in fighting colds, flu, and certain infections, and as a stimulant in digestive aid. Wild American ginseng is declared a threatened or endangered species in some states of the U.S. Panax ginseng is grown across Korea, northeastern China, and far eastern Siberia. It is taken to improve concentration, 
thinking, memory, physical stamina, and athletic endurance and can also be used for depression and chronic fatigue. Panax is the ginseng species most commonly used in energy drinks. Ginseng is a very popular herb in traditional Chinese medicine and can be found in forms such as raw herb, powdered form, dried root, concentrated extract, single serve liquid vials, tinctures, and even candy. Our clinic name is Leading Long Chinese Medicine Clinic. So we have been working here for three years already. All these Chinese firms, they work as a team to um, treat the depression, the insomnia together. You take Chinese medicine, you're really beautiful. <laughs> she becomes yeah. my 76. Wow, yeah. 76. Yeah. And Chinese herbs help her to keep yeah. young. It is Chinese medicine for cough, for cough, for food. Okay, for food. colds. Yeah, cough. You, you go to school, you're walking, not happy, you try this one. This one can help the depression. Yeah. You're really, really happy. And bad mood in this rainy day. Yeah. Oh. Especially for ladies. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye.